for the power of your legs, root down through all four corners of both feet, then go to the front part of each heel. So at the heel in the back of the foot, go to the front of your heel, the front of the heel pad, and root down and press down more there, and take the top of your thighs back even more. The top of your sacrum moves in, scoop your buttocks down, your Hanuman tail down, low belly lifts, and then fold all the way in. You can walk your hands back, lower the top of the head, and create a tripod position with your fingertips in the same direction as your toes. Okay, stay right here. For those of you who feel really at ease in Shirshasana 2, lower the head, draw your shoulders back, keep your hands powerful, and very slowly come wide and up into balancing in Shirshasana 2 tripod. From here, squeeze the feet towards each other, draw your knees into your belly, and come into Bakasana from here. So you're gonna open, keep the feet together, knees wide, spread your toes, and split the knees open, one to each arm. Lean back, push into the earth, rise up. One breath, lower your head back down, legs all the way back up, go wide, Lower your feet to the earth. You got it. Now everyone's feet are down on the ground. We're all earth, earth beings again. Inhale, lengthen out through your spine. Bring your hands to your hips. Press your legs down, inhale, and come on up. Turn your right foot to the back of the room. Keep your legs wide. Bend your front knee right over your ankle. Take your arms wide and free. Clasp your hands behind your back. I'm gonna take you through a, a progression here. Before we move into it, look to your back leg and move the thigh itself back more. Then scoop the buttocks under. Lift your chest, open your throat. Exhale, go inside your front leg and stretch your arms over the back into a shoulder stretch. So you will be at a slight angle in your torso. Lift your chin a little bit. Take your shoulders back. Lift your shoulder blades up into the power of the heart, Vira style. Mahavira, Hanuman. The one who chooses to connect and yoke to the power of the heart. Keep your legs exactly as they are, your hands as they are. Lean your chest back and get your right shoulder behind your right knee. Scoop your tailbone really strong and turn your belly open towards the sky. Then stretch your arms back away from the back of your body. This is a very powerful shoulder opener here. Release your right fingertips to the floor. Stretch your left arm right alongside your ear. Parjva Konasana. Strong and steady, root down. Inhale, come on up. To the left, Virabhadrasana two. Bend your front knee. That's it, yeah, just open your mouth and sigh and growl and Whatever you got to do. Okay, clasp your hands. Keep the power in your legs. Brighten the heart. Repose within the pose. No matter what, what it is, what the experience of life is, be present and repose within it. And that's your awareness. And you will know what choices to make because you can be present in the moment. Then fold forward. Stretch your arms over the back towards the floor. Scoop the left side of the buttocks under more so your low belly lifts up. Lay your left shoulder behind your left knee, keeping the hands clasped. Take your right shoulder back more. Lift the top of your right ear back more. Scoop the buttocks under your Hanuman tail, then turn open from your low belly and stretch your arms back away from the back of the body. Lift your throat, that will help. Release your left hand to the floor, right arm right alongside your ear. And then full big breath, like the wind just sweeps through you, clears everything. Root down, inhale, and come all the way up. That's it, triangle pose to the right. Turn the right foot to the back of the room, left foot parallel to the back of the mat. 
hug right at the top of the kneecap and press down at the front of the heel at the same time. Exhale, triangle pose to the right. Bring your left hand to your hip. 